with a little bit of TLC and I would say uh, maintenance weekly, monthly, yearly. Your cars can last over 10 years. The Car Coach Lauren fixes here to make sure that that car runs for years to come. Welcome back to the show. I love Cleveland. Glad to be back. Are people keeping their cars longer these days? They are. People are keeping their cars about 10 years, and that's something that's becoming very common. They want to get 100,000 miles out of whatever it is they have. And cars are expensive, and the average price of a car is about twenty-five dollars to $30,000. a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And it's yeah. funny that you're here because uh, this is the first time I've actually owned a car and not leased a car. Really? And I'm hoping mm -hmm. that with maintenance that yes. that car lasts a long time. It should. So what are some average things that people can do out there that aren't car experts? Right. You don't have to be a car expert. It's sort of like going to the doctor, you know, to take your vitamins. So I'm going to kind of give you those type of vitamins to keep your car running a long time. One of the things is when you get your motor oil changed, get the right motor oil. It doesn't make a difference whether it's synthetic or regular. I prefer synthetic. It makes your car last longer, especially once you reach 100,000 miles. But to get the right motor oil, check that owner's manual. You know that book in the glove box? You probably haven't taken the plastic off. Right. Yeah, that one. That has the correct oil for your car. Get the right motor oil. That's number one. Number two, your fuel injectors. Now, this is what I'm doing in a fuel injector. Now this is a huge difference. Now this is something that's a good deal. They're going to charge you close to a thousand dollars depending upon the type of car you have. Now what if you just give this mat thing, you pour it in your mat tank, you fill it up with plastic, and it's really a deal that they're for you. Now if it is really gummed up and you have high mileage now, still going to have to be clean, but this is sort of like preventative maintenance. Okay. And things you can check visually are hoses and belts. You see them frayed, they look like this. You don't have to be an expert. You go to your favorite ASC certified technician and say, hey, could you do this for me? Just like if you're a doctor, you're not going to put your own cast on your own arm. Right. Uh, other things, we just had some rain here. The weather's kind of been questionable, and I live in Buffalo, so I understand the weather. Oh, yeah. Who knows what tomorrow will be. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but replacing your wiper blades is important every six months because 80% of your driving decisions are based on visibility. And I use these flat blades on this particular vehicle, but I also have a Mini Cooper. It's got a very steep windshield, and it, the, my old windshield wipers were chattering. They were jumping. Oh, yeah. So I put on these Trico Force blades. They're flat. They've got a wing on them, and it kept the pressure down with the wind. Good choice. Visibility is critical. Hey, Lauren, before we move on, I'm looking at these rubber products. I'm looking at the blades. How often should we change rubber products? Because sometimes the normal wear and tear, you never know right. what condition they're in. Especially with the heat and the cold. Right. The heat and the cold. Believe it or not, belts should be replaced every 20 25 to 30,000 miles, and it depends on the car you're driving and what's exposed to. If you park a car in a garage, it's probably going to last a little longer. When it comes to wiper blades, it's every six months. When it comes to hoses and belts, it's what it says in your owner's manual. Some are internal and they need to be replaced, but critical, have a technician look at it. So you don't, it's going to be quite a few thousand miles. If you have 50,000 miles, right. you know, I'm going on a long trip, a belt's only 20 bucks. I'd rather get it replaced than be stuck on the side of the road. All right. Well, speaking of that. stuck on the side of the road, you have to be prepared for anything. Whether right. it's nice weather, bad weather, right. you need to have a kit. What do you have right. here? An uh, emergency kit is obviously critical, and instead of those flares, I always recommend an LED flare, but most people don't have to change a flat tire. And the funny thing is, I took the tire and rim combination off of this truck, put it on a scale that was over 100 pounds. But you're wearing a suit. You're probably not going to want to change a tire in the side of the road with the construction. I'll fix a flat, make the ultimate one step. Seven minutes, one end in the lighter, the other end goes into the tire. Seven minutes, you're back on the road, and it's water soluble, so you want to listen to a tire tech yell at you. Uh, also, my daughter took my car to the drive-in movie theaters, and then the battery was dead. I'm like, oh, thank goodness I had a jump starter with me. This is wonderful, because if you do that, or you go camping, or yep. you're at a soccer game, this is great. It's portable. You plug it in, you get a charge. It has a connection for your cell phone. It has a USB connection. It has a light. And it has a sensor on it to tell you, hey, the, it needs to be recharged. These are great. Valuable for Mother's Day gifts, for grad gifts. One end to the negative. One end of the positive is around $100. Best investment. This is actually the one that I keep in my car. So it helped get her back on the road. That was a Christmas gift to my father. He says, oh, I'll never need it. Three months down the road, <laughs> he actually had to use it. So right. maintenance, just simple maintenance. Right. Be prepared, right. and your car should last oh, it's, a it's, long time. It's 800,000 miles. The key is April's National Car Care Month, although we're at the end of April. If you don't have an owner's manual, the Car Care Council, which you can get through your website, has a link for a free one. All right, so Lauren. Cool. What's your website yeah. so everyone it's can? LaurenFix.com. You can follow me on Twitter at LaurenFix. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, when we come back to Live on Lakeside, we're going to delve into the.